man, it's so nice that David's car runs now. I was able to pull it out and put the EK back in. And that's what this episode is going to be about. As you guys might have seen in some of the last few episodes, we have signed up for VTech Club. It is an all Honda event, primarily in the West Coast, I think exclusively in the West Coast, using a lot of the popular tracks here in California. And round one of VTech Club is actually in Chuck Walla Raceway. And it is in exactly one month. So, my car, the white Civic EK Coupe that you guys have uh, seen before on this channel, still needs a few uh, you know, little tweaks um, as track prep for VTEC Club. Uh, some of that includes swapping the ECU. Uh, for some reason, I still have the Y7 ECU when I have Y8 injectors. Uh, kind of explains why the car's been running a little bit funky. Uh, so I need to swap that out. Uh, luckily, I have one. I need to adjust the shifter. Uh, I got a fuel pump, a Dishworks fuel pump that I want to install in the car. Uh, just for uh, peace of mind. I want to do a nut and bolt check. I have a little bit of exhaust work to do. And that's, oh, and an oil change. And that's basically it. So hopefully I can knock uh, a ton of that out today. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to start with the oil change. Quick and easy. I think what I'm gonna do next is do a nut and bolt check in the front suspension of the car. And now the purpose of that is literally just to make sure nothing's loose. Uh, when you're on track, you don't want bolts falling out, suspension coming apart, crashing. So yeah, I'm just gonna take the wheels off and just kind of zap all the bolts, just make sure everything's tight. I checked that bolt that goes through the suspension fork was a little bit loose. Not terribly loose, but this is why we do nut and bolt checks. All right, now that the uh, nut and bolt check is done, front and rear, the next step is to swap out this lame Y7 ECU with this slightly less lame Y8 ECU. At least it'll match the injector, so hopefully the car will run a little bit better after this. Okay, so after like over an hour of research and playing with a bunch of different ECUs, I'm a little confused because I thought I had Y8 injectors. When I look them up, they come up as Y8 injectors. And I was like, okay, well, I'll put the Y8 ECU to match the injectors, but the Y8 ECU doesn't match whatsoever. The plugs don't match. So I'm like, okay, not a big deal. I'll just put the Y7 injectors back in. I'll reseal them and put Y7 injectors to match the Y7 ECU. But the Y7 injectors, or so I thought, have the same part number as the Y8 injectors, so I'm still stuck. Like, I don't know what to do, so maybe I should just order Y7 injectors. Hopefully they'll get here in time. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put the Y7 ECU back in and leave it alone. Hopefully that's not gonna bite me later, but um, I'll see if I can get some OEM Y7 injectors, or at least some manufactured OEM ones, and I can throw those uh, in the car before B Tech Club. But for now, I'm just gonna put this back in and I'm gonna try to move on, I think, to the fuel pump.
right, so here's the Tischworks pump. It's a DW100, 165 liters per hour. I know a lot of people run the Walbro 255, but I'm just trying to play it safe. It's a stock fuel system, stock line, stock return. So this is a reputable brand. It flows a little bit better than stock and it should handle the abuse of uh, track racing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. It should, it should go in just like factory. And uh, yeah, I'll wrap this up. And just like that, the fuel pump is done. And I'm actually gonna take this stock fuel pump with me to the track just as a spare, you know, just in case anything happens. So this is done. I'm gonna put the seat back in and that's another thing off the list. Okay, so I just finished installing the fuel pump in the car. I also uh, adjusted the shifter while I was in there because it was a little bit too close to like the AC buttons. So I kind of twisted it and lowered it down. So that's that, fuel pump done, oil change done, nut and bolt check is done. I couldn't do anything about the ECU, I'm gonna research that tonight. So the only other thing I wanted to do today was check the timing. So to do that, I need to get the engine up to temp and then I'll go ahead and check the timing and I guess that'll be it for tonight. I do have some other things on my list as far as track prep goes, but those need to be done elsewhere. Uh, like I need to go to an exhaust shop, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and let the car idle for a while and I'm gonna check the timing. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it as far as the white civic goes for today at least. We got a, a, quite a bit done today. Looking at the list here, we got the oil change done. We did the nut and bolt check. Swapped the fuel pump to that Tischworks fuel pump. I adjusted the shifter. I don't think I recorded that, but it was just a slight adjustment. It was getting too close to the dash. Uh, I checked the timing. Uh, there's just three things on the list for this car. I gotta do some exhaust work. Obviously, I'll have to take it to an exhaust shop. I don't have a welder. And there's the throttle's kind of sticky. I'm not sure what's going on with that. And uh, last but not least is that ECU thing. I wasn't able to put in that Y8 ECU. Based on the research that I did, it has Y8 injectors, which are 240cc, and the ECU is a Y7, the stock one, which is tuned for like 180, 190cc injectors, so they're not matching. I was hoping to put the Y8 ECU to match the Y8 injectors, but the plugs don't match because it's using the Y7 harness and this car doesn't have VTAC. So I don't think I'll be able to run a Y8 ECU or Y8 injectors. I think I'm gonna have to get Y7 injectors. But I'm getting a little bit confused because I pulled the injectors that came on this car and they're also Y8. So I'm a little bit confused. So I'll, I'll research that tonight. But that's gonna be it guys, at least for today. Um, I guess I'll pick this back up when we do the exhaust stuff. So I'll see you guys then. I think the car is pretty much ready. The other day, uh, you saw me do headlights and injectors. The injectors is just so that I have a matching set of injectors to, to match the ECU. And um, the headlights are just for cosmetics. Just wanted the car to look a little better. Those still need to be adjusted. So what I did yesterday is I went to an exhaust shop and I had them do a quick muffler delete. And that's really just so that we can hear the car on camera. Because the car is so quiet with stock muffler. 
that uh, I didn't want the video to come out boring like the in-car footage at the track so got a muffler delete done but I, the car is actually super loud so I'm actually gonna put the muffler back on and then at the track I'll you know swap back to that just straight pipe piece I also have a set of RFAB pedal covers that I want to install today uh, that's just gonna help with like heel toe and stuff like that RFAB cool guy gotta support local business he's uh, local to us in the Inland Empire so yeah after those two uh, things this car is track ready so I'm gonna get that done and finally wrap this video up so I'm gonna start by getting that stock muffler back on the car Alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it with the white Civic, uh, I think it's pretty much ready. I did install the pedals and the gas pedal is a little bit too low and it's a little weird to heel toe still but I mean I can always just put a spacer in there. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think I think it's ready after all we did uh, these last couple weeks. And yeah, uh, VTEC Club is in 3 days and 12 hours and we still have some work to do on the other cars but uh, I'm just glad that I can say that this car's basically finished. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And remember, function momentum grip.